Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com, and we have another tutorial here for you today, and today we're going to uh, edit video, film video, edit video, post video on YouTube. It's very simple and very easy. Um, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to do the first tutorial with um, Windows 10 Video Editor, just to the fact that it's simplistic. It's great for the beginner. It's great for the advanced. It's easy. It's uh, user friendly, and the quality is 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 perfect. Um, so there's no reason why not to use it, and why get a program with all the bells and whistles if you're just starting. And uh, even if you want to put together a fast video, like uh, my tutorials and stuff, they're not you know there's no special effects and stuff like that. They're not necessary for doing these types of videos. So um, I'm gonna do a video with this, and then I'm gonna do a video with. Um, Platinum Studios, which or Pinnacle Studios, I'm sorry, which I um, which I normally use. It's more of an advanced program. If you want to check out other video uh, editing programs, they're down below. I'm only going to do two different types of videos um, on how to uh, use the two different ones, just because it's easier. Um, so this is basically it. Uh, it's pretty simple. What you want to do is um, go to your files, and I should actually start. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, let's start from the spanking new beginning. And so I just put in uh, video editor in my, in my search. Simple enough. There it is right there. And then I just put new project, new video project. And then I'll just name it. Um, it's going to be lesson 13, I think. Oops. It's in Lesson 13, my video uh, for my YouTube channel. So I want to show you something before we even get to that. And I've showed it before on a few other videos. This is loom.com. There are different um, services out there, different websites you can go to. Uh, I use Loom. I've used it from the beginning. You used to be able to film as much as you wanted on here. Now it only does five-minute intervals um, unless you pay for it. Now I'm going to tell you why I like the five-minute intervals. It's... Uh, easy for me because I can plan in my head a five minute block of instructional uh, time. And then once it's over, I'll drag it over to my editor and I'll keep editing as I go. So if I do like a whole hour of lesson, uh, I'm not always remembering where I was at. And sometimes I want to add stuff that I forgot. So this is, uh, this is why I do the five minute blocks. Cause I can, if I forget something, I can go back and go in between a five minute block and put something in there. So I personally stuck with it because it works for me. You might want to do the whole thing at once, but seek out uh, other services. I'm going to put this in the description below, loom.com. And um, yeah, feel free to use that. Sign up for it or get, get one of your choice. There's a gazillion different programs and uh, services out there that do the exact same thing that this does. This is just my preference. So let's get back to this. All right, so I'm going to bring up my folder. And what I do to start with is, and I'll show you. Um, so I find my opening, which I know this is not organized very well at this point. Usually I'm much more organized than this. But um, so here's my opening right here, and here's my ending. So what I want to do is, of course, once I shrink that, I'm going to lose it. Let's get back to it here. Blue. Just look for the blue. There it is, right there. I'm just going to grab these two things here, and I'm going to just simply drag them over. All right. There we are. Here's my opening. I'm going to put that, drag that right there. So I'll just play it real quick for you. All right. And here's my ending. This is what I put at the end of all my videos. And I'll just play that real quick for you. And then once I put it in YouTube, you'll see those little squares where they present other videos that you can click on. So those are the two things I start with if I'm doing a tutorial video. All right, and this is kind of weird because I'm like filming what I would normally do while I'm filming what I would normally do. So if that makes any sense. So after the five minute block is done, uh, the system is going to the website's gonna open up a new uh, tab for you. This is the video that I just did. Um, 
the first the first five minutes, and then you're just gonna wait till it processes, and you're gonna know once it processes, it's gonna allow you to download. So obviously you can download it wherever you want. Mine goes into the download folder. Makes sense, right? And there it goes in there. So I'm just doing a series of uh, five minutes. So let me um, bring this up. Uh, so what I did, and what's going to be posted uh, soon, is an analytic video that I used to do once a week. I'm kind of not doing it once a week. And here's one. Here's one. This is probably the other one. So over here, oops, over here, over here. Let me move this video clip, move this video clip. All right. So I put this, you can usually tell, especially with my analytic videos, uh, what's the first one here. So I'm going to click on this first one here, and then I'm going to hit, um, a trim. Yeah, let's just edit where we need to be. Hi guys. All right, so let me get to the where I start with hi guys and guys. Yeah, I gotta go back a little bit. Hi guys and guys. It's pretty precise. You just gotta kind of be easy with it. Or it will drive you nuts. All right, so I just scrub through the video. Usually I'll watch the whole thing just to see if uh, I made any type of errors, if I need to cut. But you can always edit. Um, so let's pause this. You can always edit here. Say there's here, so you have a, a screw up right here. So you just trim there. You bring down the same clip. Let's just do it now. You bring down the same clip. And you trim that clip, and you just get off whatever access. Uh, say the goof up is still here, and then you can trim it here, and then that area won't even uh, won't be viewable to anybody. All right, so just get rid of that. Just hit your delete button. Let me go back to this. I'm gonna hit trim again, and I'm gonna go here. I know I have to trim it at the end. All right, so I'm going to go from where I was talking about LinkedIn. I know my next video picks up with Facebook, kicks in. All right, and then I went in and uh, trimmed this one. This is my second clip. And I just scrubbed through it. And then you see I did an edit here. I did an ending. Uh, Edit here to end up the video. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm going to move it out a little bit. Oh, don't want that. I'm going to go here. And I'm just doing a bye bye. So I will end it at that. Bye bye. And then I got my ending here. I got my beginning here. So, Chris, how'd you get your beginning? All right. So, I've showed this before too. If you go to Fiverr, and we're going to go to it right now, there's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, this is how I did it. I'll put the, all these uh, links are going to be below as always. Is it Fiverr? 
Yeah, this is it. So as if you don't know, Fiverr, you go, you hire people to do uh, certain things. I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can hire someone to do. I just had someone do an opening for me, a uh, simple opening. That's where uh, my media helper uh, opening uh, originates from that I use on all my videos. And probably at some point, I'll change it up. I'll have some, hire someone else uh, just to make it a little different just so it's not the same all the time. But that's where I got it from. And the ending here, I just made myself. And so if you just go to Fiverr for the beginning and you just look for video, there we can do it here, video, video, and just do a search on Fiverr. And there's tons of people who make for various prices. You can break it down depending on your budgets, what you want to put in there. But um, yeah, just go to Fiverr.com and, and look for someone and um, Depending on its complexity, you'll pay a certain rate. Mine wasn't too complex, so it wasn't overly expensive. Or you can do this. Let's bring this back up. So you can, uh, let's see here. So there are some elements that I want to show you, some easy tricks. Um, so for instance, I'm just going to put in a black background. You can do this on um, Photopea. You can do this if you have Photoshop. Uh, we're just going to do it on Google here. Let's put in black background, go to images. Um, usually I try to get it pretty big. I'm going to go to tools. And then I'll put in, uh, I'll put in large. All right, and there's a black background right there. Uh, it's got stuff on it. Uh, I mean, you can have any type of background you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to use a black background in this particular case. I'll just put it on my desktop. I'm just going to leave it as, as it's named. And then I'll go back over to my editor. And then I will bring up my folder. I will go to my desktop. And it should be black background right there. I'm just going to drag this over. And then there it is right there. And I'm just going to drag it over to the beginning here. OK, there it is right there. And then I'm going to just add uh, text. I'm not going to use this text this time. I'm just going to put in my video. Oh, that's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, that's pretty neat. We can play around. See what's, uh, well, let's load your boat. A bunch of them. <laughs> I like that. So there you go. So I'll just leave it this. I kind of like that, actually. Um, so I'll go done there. So there you go. You got your title. I mean, you can just do it that. Add some music to it. And then uh, you can also do this. Uh, you can go to uh, canva.com. And I'm just going to go to my folders. But you can create um, a new video. You can just go video here. And then... Uh, uh, I can do, let's see, it should be some type of YouTube, Facebook cover, anime, Facebook video. You can do that. So let's just do that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the right ratio, though. But I have these right here. Let's just put, uh, you can put YouTube video. A bunch of stuff. There we go. That's really what we're looking for. So you can just grab onto one of these. Um, I don't know. You can see if you can put New Year behind it because that's what um, that's what the YouTube video is for. So you can grab one of these. Um, I'll show you what I did. So basically, um, I just go to my folder and then all my designs here. So I did one for Christmas. Did one for New Year's. This was my standard one. This is just my standard one I use, uh, which I'll go back to the beginning of the year. But um, basically, I just uh, try to pretty it up. This one's pretty busy just because it's New Year. Actually, I should bring this stuff forward. Get this out of the way and bring this forward. Uh, bring it forward. Bring it forward just so this stuff isn't. Oh, there we go. That's better. All right. Perfect. And uh, just do that. And in order to get these videos, you can just go go to videos and just click on, you can put in New Year's. 
Okay, I got these for free. I just added one right there. And then I downloaded it. And you can just do different blocks here. You can just you can just click in there and change the change whatever you want it to. And here I'll show you what the final product is. And I believe I put in downloads, SBC, downloads, and there it is right there. So I just got to put some uh, music behind it, that's all, which I will do. I'll show you how I do that. And actually, I'm going to download it again because I don't want this stuff in front of it because I updated it. So if we go to this, we go to this, we go back, all that stuff. Let me download it one more time and let it do its thing. Okay, so those are three ways to go about uh, doing a title and um, how to do the end too. Actually, I'm going to show you how to do the end because I have to do it too. It's going to be very, very simple once this downloads. <laughs> All right, so that's downloaded. And then I'll just go back to my pre-formatted stuff. And then I'm just going to grab this and we'll just make a duplicate of it. Uh, make a copy. Shoot it up here, I'm just going to double click. So all I want to do is make the background purple, just to go along with um, what I've already done. I can change these around if I want. Uh, change the color, which I'll change that. That's fine. That's it. I just want it purple just to match what I already did. This is fine. I'm going to download this. Download that as an MP4. And that's it, guys and gals. That's your beginning and your front and then uh, what we edited uh, together. So uh, let's upload that to YouTube. And we'll do a little more tweaking. And that's pretty much it. OK, something else I want to show you, actually, uh, first is um, there's an audio program, a recording program I want to show you all. Uh -huh. Download it's it's free. Shareware, uh, open source, uh, however you want to call it. So I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so it's uh, out of city and free open source. So just click on that. All right, and then you want to go to download out of city, and then depending on your device, obviously. So I'm this is a Windows 10 um, computer, so I'm going to do Windows 10. And then let's see here. <laughs> uh, so you can do it with the manual. Use your manual without manual. I don't need the manual. I've been using this for years. And then you've got your choices here. So I'll just do all fashion Windows installer. And then we'll download that. And I will click on the exec file. And that'll ask me if I want to make changes to my computer. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to hit English. And bring this over. I'm going to hit next. And I would recommend always to read this stuff. Um, don't do as I do, do as I say. And then this is where it's the location where it's going to put the file. That's fine. And then create a desktop. That's fine. Install. Okay, I'll let it do its thing. Okay, and you can read through that information. It'll finish and it will launch uh, Odyssey for us. My other monitor, but I'll swing it over here. And then here's the program here. And then it's just pretty simple. Here's the record button. And we'll just go ba 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 And then we'll stop. Um help with the stop button would help. And then we can go back and we can hit play. Okay, so we're going to save as. Now, it used to be you had to download a separate, maybe not anymore. You used to have to download a separate uh, plugin to export it as MP3, but it doesn't look like you have to do that anymore. Uh, I'm going to put this on my desktop. I'm 
It's going to put uh, practice audio. Okay, I'm going to save. I'm going to do my thing. All right. So, so that's saved to your desktop. I'm going to go back to this folder here. It should say practice audio. I'm going to drag that over. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Don't do that. Sorry. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put this here. And I'll just do duration. I'll do seven seconds. All right. Then I'm going to add my custom audio right here. So I'm going to add audio file, and I'll go to my desktop, and there's my practice audio, and then I can play it. <sighs> okay, done. So if we play this whole clip, So you can put your text in there and have your sound, and have your sound, or if you want to do a narration, you can put it anywhere you want along this, uh, along these uh, videos. So that's Audio City, and again, I'll have the link down by there. All right, so let me go back here, and then I'm not going to go too in too much into Audio City um, or Fiverr or anything. I've done other videos and stuff on that, so seek those out and. Um, all right, then Audio City. There's there's tons of videos on YouTube. I might do one uh, sometime, but that's not the point of uh, showing it today. All right, so I'm gonna um, finish this video. I'm gonna scrub it real quick. Make sure everything looks good. I don't know for whatever reason I can't see the opening. Let's put it back. Oops. Oh, I'm not sure why not. Is being silly, so let's just um, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna close the program again. I don't know if there's an issue with compatibility or what the bilio is, but I'm not gonna sweat it right now. Right, in here, that should be back. There we go. Okay, I have no idea what's going on there. Anyways, we're gonna hit finish video. Um, I normally do 1080. Uh, I'm gonna hit export. And then I just put it on my desktop for now. I am going to put less than 13 because that is how I label them. And then I put them in my media helper dot folder. So we're going to export. And this is only like a five minute video, so it shouldn't take too long to export. And then I'm going to wait until this is done. And then we're going to add it to YouTube. So, okay. So you can see here that everything has been downloaded or converted. And there's the video right there. The opening's a little long, but I'm going to add some cool music to it. Just because the video was kind of long that was put in there. It's like 20 seconds. That's probably too long on opening. I would recommend to at least 5 to 8 seconds for opening. I don't know, 10 to 12 is the longest. Anyways, we're going to uh, upload this to YouTube. So let's go to our YouTube channel. Now here's my last um, analytics that I put in here. I'm just going to copy all this. Just left all here, maybe copy. I'm going to open a notepad. And then I just paste this all in here. And then I'm just going to change all this, actually. Uh, was it two weeks away? Yeah, maybe it was two weeks. OK, interesting. Anyways, I'm going to uh, do this. I'm just going to change this. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what I first. Oh, actually, no. I filmed it a couple days ago. So, all right. And this is where you want to basically put a description. Um, I normally put longer descriptions here. So let me let me show you here. I don't do them on these particular videos. So here's my quick tip video. So I do um, a description that um, YouTube can read with keywords. 
All right. I, um, for this one, I just put my title in there just because analytics check. I'm not really trying to rank those or anything. Those are just kind of, although I share them online, they're really kind of my guide as I go each week to week. So anyways, um, so I put here's the my free book you can go to. So that's an opt-in. So you put your name and your, and your email address. So I have that information. I've got my other links, uh, my Facebook, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, if people are interested to go there. And then I've got these links here. This is the link that I use. This is the uh, program we use all the time. So that's in like every video. I just direct them to Loom. These are my affiliate links that I put in there. This is all stuff that I use. So um, I go to the hosting sites, which um, three I would highly recommend. Same with video editors and then various uh, tools that you can use for your affiliate marketing and um, video editing needs. I put these in because I use these. Um, they're investment programs. They're investment apps, Acorn, Stash, and Charles Schwab. Um, they're good. I mean, I do get some type of money if you click on the link and um, you set up an account, but I wouldn't put them on there if they weren't good. I did a whole other video on that, so I'm not even going to brushing against them. So the point of this is just to the fact that um, just write up yourself some uh, something that you're going to put in your description for your YouTube channel. So we're going to hit create on your YouTube channel. Now I did do another video on how to set up your YouTube channel. So uh, you might want to do a, I'll put it below or you might want to do a search for that, but I'll make sure I link it below in the description. We're going to select the file here. And what we're looking for is on the desktop. And there it is right here. So I'm going to open it. And then YouTube's going to start doing its thing. So I'll bring up this little file here. I'm just going to drag it to the other side. You're not going to be able to see it, but I'm just copying and pasting what's on there. else here. Hmm. All right, and just make sure everything looks good there. You only can have 5,000 characters. All right, it's still uploading. So I'm going to go to my downloads where I made this. I actually have to change this because uh, I haven't done a video in two weeks and I put the wrong date on there. So let's go do that right now. So I'll go back to my uh, buddy Canva, which I've used many, many times. You've probably seen it on various other videos. I use it probably every video because it's that valuable. And then um, I need to change the date on this. I have the wrong dates on here. So I'm just going to double click on that, bring up the editor, um, just because I haven't done this since December 17th. Let's see if it looked right. YouTube my channel and YouTube Studio. Just want to make sure this is correct. Go to content. And I'm just making sure. Okay. So it was the 15th. December 16th was the last time. So this one should be from the 17th to a couple days ago, which was um Actually, not the 23rd, it was the 29th. So I'm just going to move it here. I'm going to change this because I got the wrong date on it. Can't go to the 29th instead of the 23rd. And change it to. Uh, right, I got the 29th here. All right. All right, so I also want to point out this. So I brought this up before in my description. I have uh, hashtags. So the first three hashtags are always going to appear in your video. And in order for them to appear in your video, you cannot have anything in this. So video location, you have to keep that blank if that's what you want. So let me show you to my last one that I did. All right, so there's the first three keywords. So that's uh, my, my business. Oops, that's my business. That is my motto, and that's my goal. 
All right, so those uh, those come up and remind me of uh, why I'm doing this. And um, yeah, just make sure you put in some uh, quality keywords. And there's other videos that I've presented to you on how to do that. And then I'm gonna download this here. It's good that everything's starting to tie together. Everything that I've, um, all my training videos are tying together here. So if you follow right along all along, you're gonna know all this stuff and there's really no reason for me to explain it. And okay, so I'm gonna put that thumbnail in I just created on my downloads. I don't care about the name uh, of the download. It doesn't, it doesn't appear any place. So I don't concern myself with that. All right, so we've got a playlist. So I have several playlists. I would recommend doing playlists for your videos and breaking them up. So this is gonna be a training video. So I'm done there. Oh, actually, no, the training video is what I'm filming right now. So this is gonna be weekly analytics. So actually I'm filming the training video at this minute. So um, I always put not for kids. It's not specifically made for kids. So there's no reason to put that there. All right, you got your tags. And then um, so I'm just gonna go to my last one that I did and usually just grab those tags. I don't usually add anything to them. So I'm gonna copy all these. We'll go over them real quick here. All right, so just um, really depending on your niche or what you're doing, um, doing affiliate uh, marketing and website um, creation, implementation, content management, stuff like that. So that's my gig. So I just put in words that um, fit that, that's all. And um, I'm gonna hit next. All right, this is what I want on my end screen. So I always click on this for my end screen. So it shows, it will randomly show uh, videos at the end for other people to click on so they stay on your channel. Okay, I'll do that. And then I don't want to list unlisted. I do want it public. So it is instant premiere. I'm not sure what that is. Is that something new? When you set your videos instant premiere, you and your viewers can watch it together at the same time. Yeah, I don't want that. Um, so I'm going to publish. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back to contents. And it should be up and running. It was processing while I was doing the rest of that stuff. So let's take a look at it. So let's notice something here. Got my video, my opening video. There's absolutely no sound, very boring. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna fix that. And then once you get to yeah, my stuff, you can hear me. Look at that. <laughs> twins, twins, I was trying to do the same pose. Okay, so anyways, um, so we wanna go into edit here. So this is the video that we just uploaded. And we are going to go into editor. All right, so there's a few things you can do here. You can do a blur. So say you're putting in a password that you don't want anyone to see. Uh, you can blur over that. And actually, I'll show you that because I do have a video I need to do that on. Um, here's music. This is what I'm looking for. So I need to fill that empty time right there, that blank time. So I'm going to hit and it's New Year's. I want something kind of cool and funky. So, not if only not that. Yeah, something upbeat. All right, so I did a little search and got the smooth, cool. You feel it? Feel that? I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click on levels. So if it's all the way up here, it's gonna over, um, it's gonna overshadow me. Kind of weird right here. So let me just show you what I mean. You're not gonna be able to hear me over the music as I'm gabbing away. All right, so you wanna go here where the levels is, the levels is, 
the level. The levels is okay. I put it all the way down, and I'll show you exactly what happens with that when you do that. Oops, scoot this over a little bit, and this is what happens this time once it all catches up. So you can hear me now. Uh, I'm just going to get a, just a little overlay over my voice, not too much. Go. Thank you, everyone. That is just me from mymediahub.com. And I hope that you guys this week took. Uh, That's it. I just let it go. I don't fade it out or anything. I don't need any of that nonsense. No one's coming for a, a music uh, recital. Uh, they're coming to learn how to do stuff. So that's that. So you hit save. And then it's going to process through the whole video. YouTube's going to process through the whole video again. And then you'll have that as your beginning music. And the other thing I wanted to show you is if you go back to content. And then um, let me see here. I'm going to click on this video, unboxing. And then you're going to go to editor. So this is where I want to blur out something. So this is how you do it. All right, and actually on this page, I already found it. So I'm putting in this password here. And you can't see the password, but you can see each letter. It's, it's going in there. So I want to blur that out. So I'm going to add blur. Uh, and custom blur. It's going to be a rectangle. I do not want to track it. It's going to be fixed. All right, so I am going, here's my blur right here. And I'm just going to make it to the size I need it. And I should do it right there. And it's going to be a little longer. longer. Let's see how it looks. My email address, I don't care about my email address. All right, let's take a look how that looks. And is this your QR code for my PC? Where is the key? Yeah, I can shorten it a little bit. Permissions, we will continue. I'm actually going to do this. All right, so that's how you add a blur there. And then I'm just going to save it. And I save, and it's going to process through the video again to add that blur. All right, now I just want to show you um, what it looks like here. Let's see if I can get back to where that part is. Should be right around here, I think. And, oh, it should be right here. So there we go, right there. Got it blurred there, got it blurred here. So I went back and did this afterwards. And then uh, Noah can get your password. And that's how you blur. All right, so let's talk about these two things right here. Let's talk about video Linux, oops, let me, and video IQ. So it's a good indication to what you're doing as far as your video is concerned, where you're ranked, your SEO scores, you can see it. Um, but it gives you suggestions for keywords and things like that. I don't have the pro versions on there, as you can see. And it's just a guiding tool. It's not 100%, uh, but it is a good tool to have. So I'm going to put those links below. Um, so let's just go into them real quick. I'll just grab this. I'll just go to Google, throw that in there. All right, this one is TubeBuddy. All right. 
And then these links are below, and I will make sure um, get those, sign in. And I will sign in with Google, sign in with my media helper. All right, and then um, do different integrations. So to Buddy Mobile, um, logging with Facebook. I don't care about that. Linked account should all be linked already. Yeah, all this stuff should be linked already. Patreon, I have a Patreon. Um, there's affiliate program for you folks. Like I said, there's a there's a um, link right down below. And I mean, that's cool. It just links up to your YouTube video and gives you some information. And there's another one. So I'll put that, uh, make sure that's in the description. And then there's the IQ, video IQ. We'll grab that one. Basically does the same thing. I have both of them, both of them just to, I don't know look interesting interesting so video iq <clears throat> i already have an account do, do, do. so you can kind of see it's pretty much gives you the same information that um youtube gives you there um, same analytics there's some uh, suggestions that I could put in my keywords and then what people are searching for to link onto my site. So it's very uh, informational. It's very good. So I'd recommend uh, putting both on there, at least the uh, free versions and then upgrade once uh, things start happening for you. And then what you're going to see is what I showed you is um, you're going to see these two side things here. Once you link up your YouTube account, it's very easy to do. And it just gives you information just go over it and uh utilize it uh, it's it's helped me especially with my seo score um it's really helped me a lot there and all right so let's take this a step further let's uh post these things so this is what i do so i'm going to um it's not the one i want though i'm gonna kill this um so this is the newest video I posted that's the one I'm editing in this video and um, it's the only one that I have not posted on my social media or my website so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that so I'm gonna think so I'm gonna hit share and I'm going to grab this code and I'm gonna go to Facebook and I'm gonna go to my pages and I'm gonna go to my media helper all right, and then um, before I do that, actually, I'm going to bring up a notepad. I think I have one up right here. And I'll just go to the bottom here and put that in there just so I have it. I'm going to go down here. And so this is normally, that's my last analytics that I posted. So I'm just going to grab all these uh, hashtags. And I'm just going to post them here. I'm just going to use the same hashtags. And then, I, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So I'll go up here, we'll get rid of that. She's just wishing me a happy new year. And okay, we want to create a post. Facebook. All right, so I'm going to take that link. So the good thing with Facebook is that um, once you put the link in and it loads in, you can put the link out. So once it loads in, you can link it out. You can't do that with Twitter, and I'll show you. Uh, at least I don't know a way you can do it with Twitter. But uh, anyways, I'm going to grab my uh, keywords. Those are important. Or my hashtags, I should say. Keywords and hashtags. Hashtags of my keywords. And I will put them in there. And get this out of here. They give you suggestions. I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just break it up a little bit. I'm actually going to go up the top and do the same thing. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just give it a little 
separation there. Um, you've already got, here I'll show you, let's post it. Uh, I don't need an add button right now, I just need it posted. All right, it's doing its thing. So there we go right there. It's got the description from the YouTube video. So you don't really need to put anything up here but the hashtags. I mean, you certainly can if you want to uh, put that in there. And then, um, yeah, it'll just go to these uh, hashtags. So if you hit uh, I need your helper hashtag, then you're going to see a lot of my stuff on here because basically I'm the only one that uses that hashtag. Um, all right, so let's go to Twitter. Um, doo, 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 doo. And we're just doing the same deal here. We're going to uh, do a tweet. So once again, I'm going to grab that um, link. And go here. And then I'll just grab my hashtags. And copy and paste. All right. And then I'm just going to hit tweet. And there it is right there. All right. I leave the link in there because it like draws the link. It doesn't show the link in the tweet. So it's just a little different process for that. And then I'm also doing LinkedIn. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I have to catch up on LinkedIn. But uh, so on the website, uh, what I do here is um, I do different blog postings for my videos uh, to attract Google. Now, I don't do every single video. Um, it's totally up to you what you do, obviously. But um, the only ones I do are my lesson videos that I put on here. And uh, it's another way to generate traffic. And then I got all my uh, affiliate links here and everything. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you are there are websites that will um, generate likes and subscribers for you. Uh, depending, I'm actually trying this one out for um, 2021 just to see how it is. It's free for like. Um, what is it for like 10 likes or 20 likes or something or 20 subscribers, I should say, uh, just trying it out. Um, so this one is sub pals and there's an affiliate program that goes along with that. Um, so I'm just trying out a little bit, test a little bit, uh, red social. I've uh, mentioned this one before, so you can actually pay for followers. I kind of, um, hemmed and hawed about this. I might try it in 2021 just to the fact I wanted, um, my subscribers to be organic. I mean, these are organic, but um, just people subscribing on their own. I didn't want to have to pay for subscribers or anything, but I have to think about um, growing my channel as well. So just uh, two services. I'll have the links below if you want to check them out, uh, if you want to grow your channel a little quicker than normal. And that is about it, boys and girls. I hope that helped you out as far as editing and some uh, YouTube uh, tricks and stuff to that nature. As always, uh, please subscribe, like, or share below. I had to think about the share. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I'll always answer. I'll make a video on them. Uh, it's totally up to you. Of course, it's totally up to you. And I appreciate your time. And I hope this was helpful for you. And I'll catch you next time. All right. All right, guys and gals. I'll catch you. Bye-bye.